We've got a cool video to do uh, today, and it involves the Guinness Draft can. And what in the world is inside of this thing? You hear it? So what this is is the nitrogen widget. This little bad boy, bad boy right here. So this is um, it's a 14.9 ounce can that Guinness does. Let's see, how does it go here? It looks like that when you buy it. Um, with these wonderful Guinness uh, beer inside. So what this is, is this is a patent that um, Guinness came up with. It's filled with nitrogen, and then when you open up the beer, you hear this, and that's the nitrogen coming out of this small, they call it a three millimeter in diameter uh, ball filled with uh, uh, rocket nitrogen. Um, so what happens is, it's supposed to simulate um, having fresh draft Guinness beer out of a can. So according to Guinness, according to the uh, wonderful brewery that um, produces this beer for us, this is the freshest way to get it without getting it at the pub on draft. So Guinness has been around, as we know it today, the draft Guinness has been around since 1964. And then it said it was um, for, uh, formulated back in 1978. And then, um, as early as 1979, they launched it um, a, a, another way again with the required initiator device, is what they're calling it. So anyway, so what this thing does is fill the nitrogen, crack it open, and it kind of infuses the beer with this nitrogen, and that's where it gets this nice foamy head. Pour it in the bottle, or, or the glass rather, you can see it just kind of foaming up. So what it is, is so it, they pressurize it with liquid, liquid nitrogen, then the vaporizer expands in the volume of the can, which was obviously sealed, but forces the gas into the can. And then it says the widget's hollow interior, and these little holes, you probably can't see it because the lighting is how small, there's little holes right here. Uh, subsequently add the quality head. Uh, it also says this nitrogen also helps dissolve the carbon dioxide, which is important in eliminating the oxygen, causing flavor deterioration. So if you get rid of that carbon dioxide, or excuse me, it, the oxygen eliminates that, that flavor deterioration that obviously can happen with beers that have been Brewed for a while, a long time, sitting sitting in warehouses, etc. So the presence of the dissolved nitrogen allows for smaller bubbles to be formed, thereby increasing the creaminess of the head, which is why everybody loves and enjoys Guinness. This is because the smaller bubbles need a higher internal pressure. That's fancy stuff for you to balance the greater surface tension. So what does that mean? Fresh beer. Take good tasting beer, you get rid of some of the um, impurities um, in there because of the release of the nitrogen. Uh, it says it causes a chain reaction of bubbles that will formulate throughout the beer, um, thus resulting in a draft beer type consistency. So anyway, that's how it all started. Um, it all started back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. And this widget, as they call it, actually has some patents even associated with it. It's pretty cool. So that's what it is. That's the inside of the can with the widget. It's uh, in every one of them. Makes beer taste great. Most importantly, it makes Guinness go in your glass with a nice, thick, creamy head. So I hope that was fun for you. Uh, that was fun for me. I've never cut open one of these. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Leave some comments on our YouTube channel and our website. And as always, we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter. And we appreciate you watching. See you, see you again real soon. Cheers.